Here's a quick way to get the units of the rate constant k. Let's say you had a rate law like this, a to the fourth power, b to the 0 0.5 power. Remember the rate is always measured in units of change in concentration divided by change in time. So it will have units of molarity per some unit of time. Could be hours, minutes, seconds, doesn't matter what the time is. If you take the overall order of this reaction, so the overall order in this case is 4 plus 0 0.5, 4.5. So we're just adding together the two exponents. This reaction is fourth order with respect to A, 0 0.5 or one half order with respect to B, so the overall order is 4.5. Take that overall order and subtract 1 you get three and a half in this case. If you throw a negative sign in front of that, that is the power that the molarity will be raised to in the units of K. So this will have units of K will be molarity to the negative 3.5 and then whatever the time was measured in in the rate, the time will always be to the negative one power. So this might be molarity to the negative 3.5 seconds to the negative 1, or minutes to the negative 1, or years to the negative 1. If you had a rate law k times c to the third, do the same shortcut. So the overall order in this case is 3. Subtract 1, you get 2. The units of k will be molarity to the negative 2 and then some unit of time to the negative 1. You should also be able to go in reverse. So for example, if you were given a rate constant k that was 1.4 times 10 to the negative fifth years to the negative 1, you should be able to take this k and figure out what the overall order of the reaction is. So we're going to take whatever power the molarity is in this rate constant and add one to it. Well, you notice right away that there is no molarity here. So this is the same thing as molarity to the zero power because any number to the zero power equals one. So we can rewrite this given rate constant as 1.4 times 10 to the negative fifth molarity to the zero years to the negative one. Molarity to the zero is the same as molarity to the negative zero. So when we follow this shortcut in reverse, instead of subtracting one, we're going to add one to that. So we're going to have molarity right now is to the negative zero. Ignore the negative sign. Take the zero, add one, you get one. Which means this must have been a first order reaction. In other words, the rate law for this may have been something like a to the first power. If we double check our calculation. Overall order is 1. Subtract the magic number 1, you get 0. Throw a negative sign in front of it, you get molarity to the negative 0. And it's always inverse units of time. So that matches what we got with the shortcut. Another example, if the rate constant k were 8.7, Molarity to the negative 8, seconds to the negative 1. And the question is, what is the overall order of this reaction? You look at the power where the molarity is, ignore the negative sign, just take the number 8. Instead of subtracting 1, you add 1 to it, and you get 9. So this must have been a ninth order reaction.